How do you spread God's glory? You spread God's glory by leaving God's imprint on everything you do. Watch this. When mankind was created, God stamped us with his image and likeness. At that moment, we became God's stamp in this world. At that moment, we became God's stamp. You know what a stamp is? A stamp that presses down on something? A stamp that presses down on that? We are God's stamp in this world. And we are to leave God's stamp or his imprint on everything we do. How do you spread God's glory? It's by leaving God's imprint on everything you do. Now hear me today. Hear me today. The word, the word glory in Hebrew means weight. It means weight. It means heavy. Oftentimes in the Old Testament when the glory of the Lord will fill the tabernacle of the house, you know what happened? The priests would fall down. You know why they fall down? Because the glory of the Lord is heavy. I want to illustrate this for you so you can see it. I want to illustrate this for you. You are God's stamp in this world. You are a container of God's glory in this world. You are called to spread God's imprint in this world. And I want to illustrate this to you. I want to illustrate this to you. I'm going to take it over here so they can see. Right on. I want to illustrate this to you. All right. So listen. I bought this Play-Doh. Right. And my kids thought it was for them. They got excited. They said, Dad, you got me some Play-Doh. You want me to play? And I said, no, it's not for you. It's for the church. <laughs> Why do you got Play-Doh for the church? They ain't kids. And this Play-Doh, it represents the world. Because the world... It's ever-changing. It's soft. Corinthians says everything you see in your natural eye is temporary, subject to change. Right? That's why you don't make a permanent decision based on temporary situation. So we are God's stamp in this world. We're called to live for God's glory. We're called to spread God's glory in this world. The word glory in the original Hebrew means weight. It means heavy. So as we, as we live like Christ, my brothers and sisters, as we live like Christ, as we talk like Christ, as we respond like Christ, as we pray like Christ, we are pressing the imprint of God on our situation at work. When you talk like Christ at work, you're pressing the imprint of God at your work. When you act like Christ at your house, you are pressing the imprint of God at your house. When you talk like this to your kids like Christ, you are putting the imprint of God on your son's life, on your daughter's life, and you're pressing. And sometimes it gets hard. Sometimes it ain't easy, but you gotta press. Sometimes your son don't listen to you, but you gotta press anyway. Sometimes your daughter acts crazy, but you gotta press. And if you press hard enough like Jesus, you pray like Jesus, you act like Jesus, you respond like Jesus, you forgive like Jesus, you, you press. Eventually, you'll leave the imprint of God on, on everything you do. You'll leave the imprint of God on your kids. You'll leave the imprint of God on your son and your daughters. You know the implications of that? You know the ramifications of that? When you stamp your kids with the imprint of God, you know what happens? That means they will never, ever, ever fit into this world. They'll never fit into this world. They'll try. They'll try. Because all of us try. Including me. We'll try to go out and party. But someone will always not like us. We'll try to go to the club. But something will always go wrong. And eventually when this world gets tired of us. And we get tired of the world. We'll go back to our mama and say. Mama the world don't like me. And you'll say welcome home son. You've been stamped by God. You've been stamped. Our brothers and sisters, we are to live for the glory of God. We are to live to spread the imprint of God on everything we do, everywhere you go. We are to 
live to make him famous. Make him famous. Not us. Not us. We are to live like Jesus in such a way that at the end of our life, my brothers and sisters, at the end of our life, when they put us in that coffin and we laying in that coffin, and at the end of our life, when that man from the mortuary comes up and they put us in that coffin and everybody's crying and they've shut that door on our coffin, we are to live like Jesus in such a way that somebody, at least somebody, one person cries out, Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God is glorious. At least one person. At least one person. When they shut that casket down on at least one person. It says God is glorious.